This is what we deal with all the time. I got about to get arrested in a minute. Yeah. I know, you don't got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah, just watch the gentleman out front that's filming for every move. He's an idiot. I just flashed my flashlight at him. Yeah, he was, he was complaining about that. Yeah. Well, what's well, going to keep happening? What are you saying you're violating your... No, that's fine. Rights, which I don't believe you did. I mean, no. flash, flashlight is... And I'm, and I'm going to keep and doing it. Back when I was trained, we were allowed to whip people's asses and then get an uh, Well, I no. mean, he's really not doing anything wrong, but. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. The body camera footage we're about to watch is from the incident involving the Liberty Police Department in Ohio, where Officer Griffin violated my First Amendment rights by repeatedly shining his flashlight in my camera lens. The redactions in this footage were made by Liberty Police Captain Ray Buhala. The internal investigation into the incident has been completed. Stick around until the end of this video, where I'll be reading the findings and disciplinary action taken. Let's get into it. Can, can you stay over there for me? Why are you, you know recording? Him? No. Uh, we don't know him either. Why are you Can recording? Can you walk that way for me? Sir, I'd appreciate if you don't shine your light. Well, we would appreciate you if you stay over there. I... Sir. Okay. Yeah, we are. We are. Stop shining your light in my camera. That's a violation of my First Amendment right. You are currently violating the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. I'm going to ask you to stop. What's your name and badge number? Griffin. Griffin what? Don't stand behind me, please. Officer I'm not going to hurt you. What's your, Officer, Officer Griffin, what's your badge number? What's your badge number, Officer matter. Griffin? Listen. What's your badge number? No, 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 you're not. You're too close to me. No, you're being, you're being a tyrant. That's what you're being. You're being a tyrant. Have a good day. Yeah. Have a good day. Excuse me, Officer. Excuse me, Officer. Can I get your name and badge number? You weren't involved in the incident. You don't need it. That's correct. Please stop following me. Can you please stop following me? Okay. Oh, I just asked to, to stop following me. That's fantastic. Good for you. Nah, I've never said I'll scare you, buddy. Who knows? Who knows? Pete, this, this is what we deal with all the time. This is this is what we deal with all the time. This guy's about to get arrested in a minute. Yeah. I want to speak to a supervisor. The 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 person that was shining a, a light in my camera preventing me from filming him is a supervisor. <laughs> the person that's shining a light in my face right now and in my camera is a supervisor. He's a supervisor? You're a supervisor, sir? Are you a supervisor? You should probably go find something else better to do. You should probably go find something else better to do. Well, go go make go make some money, buddy. Go make some money. You, ma you making money off those videos? Why? Are you? Are you costing your money? That's what I thought. This what, some fall? I thought you dropped your hair. No, it's in my hair. Alright, give it a drop on you. Let's just take a close. Yeah, I'm just Watch this dude with the hat. Yeah, he's about to ease. What do you got here? Close to getting arrested. Hey, if he tries to say something to you, just fucking put your flashlight in the camera. Yeah, I'm not even going to acknowledge him. I know. I know. I know. You don't got nothing better to do. You gotta speak to your supervisor, please. I am him. What do you want? You are, you are him? You what do you want? Can you, can you get away from me? Yeah, I'm, are I'm you working. scared? I'm working. Are you I'm, scared? I'm not scared enough. Okay. You think I'm scared of you? Well, the, the right way to say it is you're not scared of anything. I'm but not scared of anything. There you go. There you go. I'm no threat to you, man. I was recording the, I was recording the incident. I didn't say you are. We got a job to do too, right? So, this is my job, to hold you accountable. Do you have a problem with people who film you, Griffin? Say hi. How you doing? Officer Griffin, do you have a problem with people who film you? Is this like a habitual problem? Like a, like are you a repeat flashlight in the camera offender? Shining spotlights in people's faces. Oh, you're a repeat offender, huh? That's a pretty small flashlight. Oh man. 
What a tyrant. We're definitely gonna be filing a complaint on you, Officer Griffin. Griffin, do you have a uh, problem with accountability, sir? Just a little transparency, that's all. I'm not gonna kill you. Do you understand what the First Amendment of the United States the Constitution is, Griffin? Did you take an oath to uphold that Constitution? You did, right? You know, a, a, a real man will take his oath seriously and uphold it. But yet you want to violate that oath by flashing your, putting your flashlight in my face and in my camera, re preventing me from re recording you. Do you think that's acceptable behavior? You think your police chief at the Liberty Police Department would condone that kind of behavior? Yeah, send it to him. You want me to send it to him? Send it to him and ask him. Oh, I'll, I'll go. Send it to him and ask him. I'll be filing a complaint against you. Please do. Please do. Please do. Please do, buddy. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. 28 to 23. Good. Yeah, just watch the gentleman out front that's filming for every move. Some dude's about to put on a shark. Huh? I said, I know some dude's about to fight him in the parking lot. Yeah, he's, he's, he's running his mouth to everybody. Yeah, he's causing a problem. That's why I told Dilly to come up here, because most likely he's... He, you he, need... He's, he's going to get to that point. Hey, sir, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. Are you a supervisor? Uh, not right now. You're not I'm a supervisor sure, uh, right yeah. now? Yeah, oh, no, but totally I'm not. saying in general, are you a supervisor? No, no. Uh, oh. Well... Weekends we don't have sergeants, but we do have supervisor. I'm I'm for midnight turn. I just came in early. Oh, so how, okay. How can, how can I help you? Oh, sir. So I was filming. I, I'm a First Amendment activist, um, okay. independent journalist. Yeah. So I was filming an inc uh, incident that was taking place in the parking lot where a female was being arrested, uh -huh. apparently for shoplifting. But I was filming there, and the supervisor that's on on duty right now, Griffin. Yeah. Uh, he uh, he didn't like that I was filming him, so he decided to put his flashlight in my camera so I couldn't see anything violating my First Amendment right. I tried to explain to him I'm not a threat to him. I'm not here to cause any issues with him. I'm filming for accountability purposes. He told me, why don't you go do something to make yourself some money? Do you make money doing what you're doing? And he repeatedly, over and over again, no matter how many times I've tried to explain to him, mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to do anything but document. He just kept on with his flashlight in my camera, in my camera, in my camera. Is that type of behavior like acceptable in the liberty police department to well, stop people well when we have a female with a warrant arrest running through the parking lot and if i got to talk to him and see what you did right i filmed right. him so i recorded him well, which is my it right it depends if you're interfering with that then you're obstructing what we we're doing so oh am i interfering i was about this far away okay. maybe more right. i wouldn't be interfering Listen, what's your name and badge number so I can address you properly? Officer Dillard, 923. Officer Dillard. And also, is it your policy to identify yourself to members of the public? What do you mean? Like, is I mean, it, if is you it ask part of me? I tell you. Yeah. Right. No, That's I'm fine. saying one of your other officers said, you know, I'm not giving it to you. Just, again, complete unprofessionalism here, exhibited okay. here by the officers. I, I don't know what's going on. I, try, I work with police departments across the country, I do right. First Amendment training. Um, you know, I film law enforcement for a living. Okay. This is my job. This is, I hold law enforcement accountable. Um, I've affected changes in certain cities. But my point is, is that I've never had somebody purposely try and stop my recording. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm obstructing, arrest okay. me for obstructing, we'll take it in court. But to put your flashlight, my camera's not obstructing anything, is it? It's not, I right? I believe so. Right. No. So, so but to purposely... Obstructing, uh, how is that flashing? Because when you put, your First Amendment because, right? no, because you have a right, can, can we agree you have a right to film law enforcement? First Amendment right? First Amendment right to film? To film yeah. law enforcement, right? Absolutely. Yeah, right, absolutely. Okay, okay great. So when you, when you put a flashlight in somebody's camera lens, okay. that distorts the lens, therefore, you don't get the pictures you needed. Okay. He did it with a spotlight on his vehicle. All he right. did it with his flashlight multiple times. I said, Are, would your police chief would your police chief um, agree with what you're doing and condone your behavior here today? He said, go ahead, show it to him. I don't care. You know, and, and, and I will. That's fine. I'm, yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. You know, if you're just another officer, 
you know, I, it's it's yeah. something else. I plan on going to the police department. I mean, so. absolutely, yeah. Bring, you have every right. Bring it up to uh, our chain of command. Uh, file a complaint. You have every right, right. to. Uh, we have a website, Liberty Township, uh, LibertyTWP.com. I'll just go there tomorrow. Online. Will there be, like, an actual supervisor uh, Monday, tomorrow? Monday morning. They'll, so on the weekends, there's no official supervisors working? What's like tomorrow? a sergeant, tomorrow, lieutenant, Sunday? tomorrow is Sunday. Uh, so you could stop in... Uh, Two o'clock, we'll have a sergeant there. Two o'clock, there'll be a really sergeant. Want to stick to an immediate supervisor, right? Uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock, sergeant. Gotcha. So on the weekends, on the weekends, you go into the official supervisors working. Other than the two o'clock, where you told me. Uh, pretty much, but like I said, the so smaller so, police department. Yes, we are a smaller police department. We are chief all the way down, uh, twenty man department right now. Okay, yeah, small yeah, police so department. Smaller, gotcha. We don't have that many admin and gotcha gotcha gotcha, so, gotcha 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 i'm used to dealing with nypd monster you know goliaths like yeah, the nypd right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right 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 no so oh it makes sense why there's not an actual sergeant on on call like right now working i get it you guys are short staffed or whatever but there will be there one at two to speak to okay i'll be there right. thank you for your time today yep. appreciate it thank you yeah you can come up back i gotta get more bags he's an idiot i just flashed my flashlight at him yeah he was he was complaining about that yeah. well What's well, going to keep happening? I've been trying to record the whole time so ever since we was over there. All right. Well, he's saying you're violating your. No, that's fine. Rights, which I don't believe you did. I mean, no. Flash, flashlight. And I'm and I'm going to keep and doing you're it. Allowed, and you're allowed to. Yeah. He's going to end up Yeah, but he just needs to look the other way because the guy's just taking him on. Brian, just ignore him. Walk away. So did he chase you too, or was he already over there? He was already over there. Hey, hey, outside. Yeah, tell him to get away from that, dude. Oh, we're aware. We're very aware. Thanks. Yeah, you see, uh, I'm one of the guys that was trained law enforcement and chose this. Right. I'm glad I did, because back when I was trained, we were allowed to whip people's asses and then get uh, out Well, I no. mean, he's really not doing anything wrong, but... No, 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 no I, mean, I know, but I get... I mean, you guys it, got a lot of aggravation to It's have frustrating, to yes, nowadays. but he's not doing I'm anything. I'm just old school training, which was different. I've trained, I've changed with the training. It's like, okay. Right. Let's just go softer and softer on the bad guys. But, yeah, I don't know. I say, I, I appreciate y'all for your temperament. I don't have it. <laughs> uh, right. I, I, it gets I challenging know. sometimes, but, I mean, it, the more you do it, I mean, <laughs> the more you kind of get immune to it. In 95, I did two weeks state highway patrol. I went through my mm -hmm. three months and everything. But me and that training sergeant butted heads. And right. I chose security. I was good at it. I graduated top 5% on my class. I graduated. Out. Oh, nice. So, it's not that I didn't know my stuff. It's just I had disagreements. Right. Anyway, I'll take yep. care of you. Say, right. I'll see you. Can I report uh, someone soliciting in our parking lot and you yeah. arrest him? Online. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, he's, a, he's exercising his rights. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did you make, my car is locked, right? You just yeah. use your, okay. Your police chief must be bad if he's allowing this kind of behavior. What a low standards, law enforcement. Oh, man. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, fellow patriots, let's take a look at the internal investigation findings, which were completed by Captain Ray Buhala, Officer Griffin. Officer Griffin was the acting supervisor on scene. You, as a member of the public who was unknown to the suspect or the officers, video recording the officers performing their official duties. Several times, you closely approached the officers and their vehicle, presenting a safety risk. While Officer Griffin was justified in initially shining his flashlight towards you to get a better view of what you were doing and to determine whether you appeared to be a threat, Officer Griffin's repeatedly shining his flashlight at your camera was not appropriate. Officer Griffin gave his name to you and indicated that he was the supervisor on scene. However, he failed to provide his badge number when requested. Officer Ryan. 
Officer Ryan failed to identify himself by name and badge number to you when requested to provide this information. Based on the conclusions, both officers have received the attached discipline that will be placed in their personnel files. In addition, the entire department at my direction has reviewed Policies 428 Public Recording of Law Enforcement Activity and Rules of Conduct. Identification. All members of the department have also been directed to complete the Ohio Peace Officer Training Academy's roll call refresher training video titled First Amendment Auditing Course. If you have any questions regarding this matter, please do not hesitate to call me directly, Captain Ray Buhala. All right, so this is the verbal written reprimand for Officer Kenneth Griffin of the Liberty Township Police Department. As officers were identifying the female and unknown subject, Sean Reyes arrived in the area on foot and began recording using what appeared to be a cellular phone. Throughout the encounter, you were observed shining your flashlight towards Reyes while he was filming, and at one point, you utilized the spotlight in your vehicle. Reyes requested your name and badge number. You did provide your name, but failed to provide your badge number. And if we scroll down here, you can see the violations, public recording of law enforcement activity, and then rules of conduct 1.23 identification. Supervisor Ray Buhala. So not the typical we investigated ourselves and found no wrongdoing that we are used to, but in my opinion, it's a sad day for our country when a law enforcement officer receives only a verbal reprimand for violating a member of the public's constitutional rights, especially when they swore an oath to protect those rights. It's always very interesting to hear what officers really think about us when we aren't around. Such disdain for the public and the Constitution was on full display in this video. In the end, Officer Griffin violating my constitutional rights repeatedly and the fact that when I was submitting my complaint to Captain Buhala, he couldn't stop himself from laughing, blatantly showing his disdain for people who record law enforcement, as well as the lack of of any real consequences or accountability leave me no choice but to hire an attorney and file a federal lawsuit against liberty township i will also be speaking at their next board meeting stay tuned to the channel for updates and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always stay safe god bless i'll see you in the next one long island audit peace